Welcome to the vlog. This is another episode of No Boring Days and I live in Cebu, Philippines and we are currently locked down. I've heard that we have the world record for the longest lockdown in the world. It's not uh, the ideal situation to be making bike videos uh, as much as I would like to go outside and make adventure bike videos up in the mountains. I can see the mountains from here and I can't I can't go there right now so I thought you know I'm gonna use this opportunity to make some videos about how I prepare for a ride or specifically what I bring to a ride so this video is the stuff that I bring to every ride we'll have rides that are less than two hours rides that are two hours to five hours and then rides from like five hours and up five hours and longer of course every ride is different but more or less this is what I bring in every ride first and most important thing is I'm gonna take a look in my saddlebag so here is what I have this is a saddlebag this is a Lezain Lezain saddlebag I wonder if you can hear the birds outside chirping it's such a beautiful day but I can't go outside so Lezain saddlebag let's open it up what you can find inside is spare inner tube tire levers to open to take the tire out multi-tool specific you know the whole like different allen wrenches and i think this one even has this thing for the chain also inside the bag is a missing link you know just in case you break a chain sometimes i do transport the bike so sometimes uh, I'll use it for a commute and I'll take the front wheel out and uh, since I have hydraulic brakes if you've had hydraulic brakes before if you press the brake and there's no brake pads there they become effectively stuck so I like to put these on the brakes they're really helpful so that you don't make the brakes stuck so that's inside the saddlebag and of course we bring a hand pump I haven't found a good hand pump sometimes the the hand pump that I have right now although I like it because I'm gonna get it one sec okay so this is the hand pump that I'm currently using it's a generic giant control mini road plus hand pump um, I like this pump better because you have a hose here that you can pull out the nice thing with this is that once you stick it into the to the valve stem you can easily pump it now there are some without this rubber thing and I have broken some stem some valve stems before so I've opted for this one see because this one you kind of twist it into the valve stem and I sometimes this gets stuck in the valve stem and pulls it out it's it's there's no good hand pump but you should bring a hand pump anyway and then of course depending on what time I leave I like to bring a front light and back light safety always is always first any front light or back light will do really just make sure it has a good battery life the front light probably you want something really bright and then the back light something that is relatively bright and that can last a long time for the longer rides I bring one water bottle usually I find that's enough for a for less than a two hour ride anyway when I get home I have a lot of water to drink as well uh, I bring two cameras, the one that's filming me right now, and a GoPro. I use this GoPro Hero 2. It is not the best camera and I really wish I had like one of those image stabilization GoPros, but this is what I have right now and in order to make YouTube videos, I shoot with what I have. So if you're watching this and want to donate the GoPro to the channel, hey, I will accept it. I also bring this tic tac salt thing so what it is is basically a it's a tic tac and inside the tic tac I put salt inside now the reason why I do this is sometimes after long rides or or strenuous rides I get a headache in the afternoon and I notice that it could be an electrolyte deficit the headache actually feels like a, a hangover so it's possible that it's an electrolyte deficit and I noticed when I have this salt so what I do is this, this thumb's kind of dirty this thumb's clean so lick the thumb put the salt thing here 
and you have salt and uh, put it in your mouth so you can eat salt really quickly while on the ride and that's uh, really important and oh that is I need some water <sighs> yeah basically I try to maybe get two licks of salt an hour I haven't really figured out that yet but sometimes I still have headaches but I have a lot less headaches ever since I started regularly adding salt to my rides of course what's also important is a phone doesn't matter I just bring a phone doesn't matter what phone obviously I bring a phone with me something with GPS because I do I do use the beacon feature on Strava which is basically if you're connected to the internet so via mobile you can send your location to somebody so it, I give my wife a link to a Strava link and then she can get my location it's for her peace of mind and really just in case anything happens to me sometimes I do end up in the mountains in the middle of nowhere and she can at least at the very least get my last known location sometimes I do notice that the beacon feature just disappears but it's better than nothing so I'll use that and of course you got to bring a phone with you on your rides I mean uh, you know just in case emergency I do like using a lot of handlebar bags now of course this is for the less than two hour rides it depends uh, on the ride but generally speaking I bring two bar two handlebar bags I'll get so one of my handlebar bags is this chrome uh, I forget the name of the of the bag I'll put I'll put it on the screen somewhere it's a chrome something it's a front bar bag I usually put the camera in here food if any for the longer rides this is super useful and I do like it because it can become a sling bag if you do just opt to leave your bike and bring something so I've, I've tried in fact going out on a bike ride up to a mountain and then went and then parked the bike and went trekking so I brought this bag with me and then this just hung on my shoulder while we were running around the mountain super useful but my favorite bag is definitely this feeder bag this is from a Philippine brand called Abnormal uh, I really like it. it I've had this for a while and it's it's aged pretty well uh, except well there is a little tear inside that is easily this is easily repaired but I usually put a camera here or my phone or a wallet so those are the bags oh and inside this bag I always keep a plastic just in case it rains and uh, if it rains it's a at least uh, the plastic I can put my phone there my camera in there just to make sure that it doesn't get wet of course since it's a uh, the pandemic we have to bring some sort of mask or scarf so I bring that as well shades I bring shades bib shorts I like bib shorts. it is much more comfortable it was weird at first but it is much more comfortable to use especially during longer rides and then I bring a cycling jersey if it's a shorter ride I'll bring the uh, a, a more chill and relaxed cycling jersey if it's a longer ride I'll bring the ones with pockets in the back just because I'll be carrying more stuff and you do need pockets pockets are super helpful yeah in fact that's that's what I think is the biggest draw with uh, cycling cycling jerseys because they do have pockets in the back generally the ones that I own have three pockets in the back they're super useful of course you have to bring a helmet that's you gotta bring a helmet it's you gotta be safe especially if you're do going 50 60 70 kilometers an hour down a hill don't want to crash without one socks mtb shoes i've made a video about my about my shimano xc5s before it's a, i'll put a link to it here somewhere and i have my garmin edge i bring the garmin edge 520 super nice if you like uh the data from your rides distance elevation that sort of thing if you have a power meter you can plug it in there if you have a heart rate monitor i don't have a power meter i do use the heart rate monitor from this so this is a garmin vivo smart the there's a heart rate monitor there i don't find it to be that accurate especially if you're in a ride that's off-road and you're like shaking all the time but it's better than nothing i used to have like a chest mount heart rate monitor and i found that to be much better except that it stopped working 
I didn't want to buy one because I got this. And what am I? I'm not really a full-time athlete. I'm just, I'm just some dude who likes to buy. So that's the stuff that I bring for the rides that are less than two hours. If it's a ride that's more than two hours, let's say from two hours to five hours, I'll bring everything that I just mentioned and then I'll include snacks and another bottle of water. In my bike, I have two bottle cages, so you can put two bottles of water. So for the, if it's longer than two hours, the other bottle of water is essential. And this is essential as well. I've been getting these Growers Nutri, Growers Nutri Bar. Uh, I like them. Basically, I'll eat one every 40 minutes to an hour. If it's a three hour ride, that's four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, by the way, what's math? If it's a three hour ride, I'll eat about four bars, more or less one bar every 40 minutes. And then that will usually keep me energized because if you don't eat, you're gonna bonk. Bonking means you don't have the energy to move forward, to keep pedaling. So secret to not bonking is to eat. Eat like four, 60, 40, 60 or 40 to 60 grams of carbohydrates an hour so you don't bonk that's gonna help you a lot and of course the other bottle of water because you are going to sweat a lot eat drink and uh, from my case I would do a lot of electrolytes as well with this tic-tac thing now for the rides that are more than five hours you're gonna need a lot more food so I bring a lot of these or you're gonna have to do stops in between maybe places to get your carbohydrates some sugar I'll bring a power bank and a wire just in case, you know, I uh, might need to charge up my phone, might need to charge up the Garmin. You, you never know what you need, but uh, I'll bring it if it's a really, really long ride, if it's more than five hours. I'll bring a raincoat sometimes. I'll be honest, I've never really used it, but it's good to have, especially those raincoats that you can just pack into small pieces so you can just put it in the back in your pocket in the back and then just forget about it sometimes i'll bring gloves there was one ride when it was basically a mountain bike trail and it was really shaky and then my hands did start to hurt so gloves sometimes depending on where i am going especially on the longer rides and maybe i'll bring another inner tube just in case one of the worst things is you're in the middle of this really long ride in the middle of nowhere and you flat and just to be safe just to have another inner tube that helps just to just to recap uh, here's a picture of everything that i bring on rides here it is on the screen you see it so if there's something that i may have missed maybe some maybe you have a lot more experience than i do and and you know if there's something that i did not mention in this vlog Please let me know. I am always looking for ways to improve my rides. And hopefully when this lockdown is over, hopefully when we are allowed to go outside. I miss, I miss going outside. Anyway, that's the vlog. If you enjoyed this episode or if you found it helpful, please subscribe. We're going to have more episodes in the future. Bye.